Hey guys, welcome back to the live game. Yo, I'm today playing some old Mordekaiser, some new Mordekaiser in the old Jingle Jangle. Mordekaiser's rework makes him a pretty decent jungler. He's really fun to play. That's the most important thing. Like, I love this guy. I've been playing him a bunch on my uh, accounts, like rank up and stuff. I consider Mordekaiser like an actual one v nine champion in the jungle. Like, he is so, like, his ultimate just means that he will legitimately one v nine. Uh, but doesn't I've actually struggled to win with him, but I always I do win on him I just don't win but either way we'll forget about that part uh, I do think he's a good jungler and today I want to show you how to play him so that you can take him into your games You can play him now that he's not like hot shit anymore. He's not like the new thing You should actually be able to pick him up uh, So if you want to do that then hey this video should help you out So first things first Mordekaiser good at both aoe and single target but early game i always do this clear where i do red into krugs into chickens because he is actually pretty good at full clearing so i do that most times where i just do like a cheeky little full clear uh, your skill order you're going to be wanting maxing your q then your e then your w but get the w level two because you want to get this like shield going so i'll show you my runes here then i'll explain a little bit about your abilities because that is like you know he it might be a little bit confusing if you don't know 100 percent what's going on uh, so basically, you have this thing spinning around you whenever you whenever you hit a big monster. So not these little dickheads, but a big one. So like the big wolf, the buff, the gromp or something. If you hit something three times, either auto attacks or spells, you'll then get that circle around you. So I've hit this once, twice, three times. Now I have this little storm coming around me here. Uh, this storm here just does loads of AoE damage basically and that's great because it charges up my shield which is this bar underneath and then when this reaches full I'm going to pop the shield which is going to give me you know shield so funny how that works I actually take less damage because I've, I've got a shield on and if I have a full shield and the camp dies I can pop the shield again and I heal up but I'm not going to pop it again while I'm still fighting the camp because I do get more use out of the shield than the heal if I'm still in combat with something so we're just gonna keep bopping this bad boy. Could go for the scuttle crab here, but I'm feeling I'm feeling the full clear, so we go for that instead. I'll talk about my runes here now, guys. We have Conqueror as a melee champion. You get a lot of use out of that with this uh, thing spinning around you as well. Really easy to keep those stacks going. Uh, we have Triumph because Triumph's really strong. We're gonna absorb our shield there because we don't need it anymore. And uh, Tenacity because Tenacity is OP. Kudugara because why not? And. Uh, the healing runes in the domination tree because as you can kind of see with my W as well healing is really good on Mordekaiser so just gives you a little bit better clears better 1v1s and Mord is a very big 1v1 champion going to tr runes AP AP and armor as well the rune stats so we're going to try and go for a little cheeky gank in the bot side here let's go so my W is an amazing gank tool but it has like a 20 second cooldown so you want to make sure that you get a good hit off with it now I'm going to keep an eye on my health here, getting a little bit creep blocked. But when I, I want to kind of soak your, your shield charges by taking damage and dealing damage. So you kind of want to like hold on to it as long as you can, obviously. But obviously you don't just want to die before you get your shield off because that would be kind of lame. But yeah, pretty successful first clear I'd say here. If we'd got a kill it would have been perfect, obviously, but this is fine. Red smite, blue smite, pretty much up to you. You can do whichever one you want. Blue smite means that it's just easier to get onto people because you're a melee champion, so that can be a little bit tough. Uh, but red smite obviously just increases your 1v1 power, so it's up to you. Guys, we're streaming this live. FBOGG slash FoxDropLol. Go give us a cheeky little follow. We stream pretty much every single day. You can watch me play Lego Legends. You can chat to me, ask me questions, all that lovely business. While I'm running back as well, may as well post. Get my little socials down there as well. In the description, go give us a follow. Twitter, Facebook, well, Facebook, obviously, I guess I just already did that. But yeah, you can go. Go follow me. Keep up to date with me. So I'm not uploading as much on YouTube anymore because YouTube sucks. So if you, if you need your dose of Foxy, then you got to go outside, man. Extracurricular. Great thing about starting at the Krugs is that they respawn about 420. So getting, getting those Krugs down on that second respawn is actually really, really sexy. They give you so much XP. I think they do like 30% less XP at level 1. So what if you get them respawning like ASAP. Oh my goodness, like I'm already 5.5. It's beautiful. Okay, 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 okay. We get a return kill at least. And now I'm going to do the cheeky thing of pushing this under the tower. Because I push really fast as Mordekaiser. Well, I'd push faster if I had more AP, but still. In fact, maybe this is not as fast as I'm imagining because I don't have any fucking AP. 
But as a jungler, being greedy like this is not a terrible idea. Because your jungle XP sucks. But we want to get this under the tower like ASAP. I missed so much CS there. But we just want to get that under tower ASAP, basically. So we get we get a bunch of extra experience there, which is really nice. Because as Mordekaiser, you are a carry. So you want to have like good farm. And you want to have good XP. And it's you know kind of hard to do that if all we're doing is perma farming. Because jungle XP is lame. Alright, that's watered. That's fine. We got a scuttle crab there. We're using our E on the crab to break the uh, armor and magic resist so that it dies faster. Look at this Zed! What a homie! Yes, yo, I'm tilted. I'm tilted for Lee Sin. Why is he not? How is he not? Oh, he smited the Krugs. Yeah, what a beast. Right, I'm not there, so my team has to be a little bit careful, but still good. I actually think I can go into the top jungle here. Whoops, I'm not popping my shield. I'm being lazy. I go into this top jungle wall. Lee Sin is still on the bot side. I bring the light. Top is definitely gankable, but kind of hard when there's that ward there. This is a level 6 Gromp, so I should still get a lot of XP from it. If this was level 1, I probably wouldn't even take it. I can tell it's level 6 because of looking at the top left when you click on it. I wouldn't take it because I feel like I'm just resetting the XP for Lee Sin and I'm not really a fan of that. Alright, blast cones up. We're going in, boys. Let's go! Now, this is warded, so I'm just going to press R here. Because I don't want to walk into tower. Okay, my R range is, of course, just a tiny bit out of range here. Never mind. Fuck it. Now I'm level 7. I, I, I'm I pretty sure I win the 1v1, though, right? Yeah, I should be able to... Yeah, I can 1v1 KL. I'm pretty sure. Uh... So this is warded. I think this might be expiring, but I can't really do anything about it. He has no TP, so we're gonna. Oh, okay, we're gonna be holding this here. Man, I wish I had my flash here. We'd be we'd be dicking on someone right now if we had flash. That's for sure. Okay, so this is up, but I'm pretty sure this is warded. We also know that Kel has no TP, right? Actually, just use TP. So we're going to walk into the jungle. I do beat this guy. Wait, do I beat this guy? Pretty sure I beat this guy. Oh, hello. Found him. Actually, right, so this is pure 1v1 here, but Kenan will be coming round, right? Alright, that's fine. My E's up in two seconds. Can we dive this? Yeah, we can dive this. Nice. Okay. I still think that's worth it. Did Mundo flash? Mundo did flash. But Kale flashed. I'd love to get this. I have like everything up. So, like, Lee Sin will probably just do, like, a return rage invade down the bot side here. I've I've got so much gold I need to spend, though. Like, I'm so rich right now. <laughs> Tier 2 boots. Get my Runic Echoes. I'm actually terrifying. Like, genuinely terrifying right now. This is what you want on Mordekai. So, like, this is the perfect start. Like, you are a carry. So, if you have uh, damage and XP, you you just destroy everyone. You absolutely destroy them. And it's really important that you don't fall behind on this champion. Because you need to be able to 1v1 them because of the way your ult works, right? Like, you you kind of, like, abduct people into the Shadow Realm. And if you can't kill them, then, well, that's a problem. It's a good dragon take there by Lee Sin, though. Recognizing, you know, we're still topside, all that, all that rubbish. Just rush down the dragon and take that instead. Should really be popping my shield here as well. Is it? Oh, he hasn't taken that yet. Okay. Did we get that? We did. Nice. My ult's up in 30 seconds. Has a very long cooldown at rank 1. Before you get any CDR items as well. What am I looking for here? Do I just want to... I feel like I'm farming a bit too much right now. But at the same time, kind of bad timing for me to do anything anywhere. Unless I'm waiting bot lane. Just predicting a play or something like that.
Dude, he's so so speedy. Fuck. I'm trolling. I could have ulted him to kill him there as well, but I didn't want to ult. Fuck. Yeah, I could have killed him there. I mean, that didn't seem smart, honestly, did it? It still doesn't seem smart. Like... <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> you can't gank a Mordekaiser. Yeah, I see the ward, but I'll be honest. I also see the farm. <laughs> Oof. Yo, I actually... Mm, I mean, if I smite him with that, maybe I kill him, you know. You didn't know John Camps have levels, Dexter? Yeah, so the levels just basically indicate... I mean, it, it does indicate how strong the, the camp is, but more importantly, it's how much XP it's going to give you. The higher level, the more XP it is. So right now, I click the red buff, and I look at the top left here, it says 8, right? So this is a level 8 red buff. It's two levels lower than me, which means I'm not going to get, like, a crazy amount of XP. But if I was, like, level 7, for example, then I would get, like, bonus XP for killing it, because it's a higher level than me. It's basically just for catch-up mechanics. So if you can, it's why, like... Um... Like not farming that much is not too bad, because as long as as long as they're like if but it's why like falling behind is not like the end of the world on on jungler because you can just like if you you farm a few of those uh, camps that are higher level than you, and suddenly you're back in the game sort of thing. All right, let's just peep the wards here. No wards. This cow's playing very passive. I don't know whether she expects me here because of the way Mundo's playing, but either way, and this is not really gankable right now. Might be able to get in though. It's a pretty hefty slow. There it is. Rest in pepperonis, my dude. Go for some more plates here. Now I'm sitting on 3k gold, which is actually enough for the next item I want to buy, which is a Riley. It's going to do Riley's into Leandrews. Look at the Zed. I love that ship. I mean, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. If I were Lee Zin, I'd hate it. But for me, it's great. You know, we get information on, on Lee Sin. Or maybe even more importantly, information where Lee Sin isn't. Which means that he's probably around bot side. Or he, oh, he's probably heading back top side, honestly. Realistically speaking. On the way top. Ah. Nope, he's bot. But I could go into the top side jungle right now and just like take over his jungle. But I'm sitting on a lot of gold. I'm just going to go and spend. I would buy Riley's normally at this point. But that's because it's cheaper. It's like 2-6 instead of 3-1. But because I have like I had like 3.2k gold, I may as well just buy out my Leandries here. Now, if I go bot, I can abduct someone and kill them. But if I do that, then the problem arises of what happens when you know I come out of the ult. Sure. I'm just, I'm huge, by the way. Like, I'm actually massive. <laughs> like, Mordekaiser is actually disgusting. Seven and zero. We have nine kills. I'm seven of them. Iron stands eternal. The cool thing about Mordekaiser as well is he has, like, this Q is kind of spammable, and it's, like, obviously AoE. But if you only hit one target, it does, like, amplify damage. A bit like Karthus, Karthus Q, right? And like this, look look at my passive here. Look how much damage my passive is doing. Actually insane. Probably wasn't worth me putting that pink there, but whatever. Like if you catch someone solo, and you get that Q damage to be solo damage, like you actually bop people. Like you hard bop people in this champion. Three levels on this uh, Lee Sin. Don't know if this is warded though. Probably should be because Janna was just around, right? And Janna supports tend to leave like wards just knocking about in their wake, you know, wherever they go, places on the map. Don't know exactly where the wards are, however, and I don't have my sweeper up, so I can't check. Can his E pull people across a wall? I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they can't. 
think your E won't work like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually too big right now. So we're going to walk down bot sides and just see if I can maybe cover my team a little bit. Walk into this. Uh, walk into this bush. So my team is not stronger 2v2. So if I still cannon, he can't fuck my team. You see these little red dots, by the way? That's Caitlyn and Janna. Nice. So you have to bear that in mind when you steal someone. Like, obviously their team... It, well, it just depends, you know, is, is their team going to be around or not. So your E has a really long cooldown, which is why you max it second. But like rank one especially, you have to be very careful with how you use your E because it's very easy to just waste it. This red is up in three seconds. Do we have the time to take this? I don't have my smite. He's not going to want to give it up for free, obviously. Wait. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I'm looking at my own red buff. Okay, I'm confused. I confused myself. It hurt itself in confusion. Steady on, boys. Steady on. A lot of dickheads there. I got a recall again though for my Rileys because I can afford that. Uh, mm, I think we just got caught in a bad reset here. Yeah, we'll lose. That's our that's our punishment there. We got greedy. We're gonna lose some mid towers here. Like I didn't reset until long because I was taking this red buff. We got caught in mid a little bit as well. Anyway, I have to be a bit careful now because I'm worth 700 gold, so yes, I want to play aggressive because I'm strong and I can, you know, really punish people, but I also, if I make mistakes, like the, pri the price of my mistake is very high right now if I make mistakes. worth my flash 200 gold yeah I, I don't really know if that's even worth my flash at this point I kind of think maybe it's not realistically speaking like he's worth 200 gold it's only it's only a it's a pick right it doesn't even get us anything else it's not like in a team fight if I flash to take someone out of a team fight then it becomes 4v5 sure but I don't think that's why he should put the herald down baby let's go I mean, we got pressure in three lanes. There's two people dead. I think Harold is big here. It's a bit late, but still. All right, have my OC up again. I'm gonna pop my W because I'm max shield, and I'm not gonna use that. So I just pop my W for the heal. Could still Sivir, but she can run under towers here. I mean, honestly, maybe I can just take Sivir anyway. But I'm very, very keen on just taking that inhibitor, so... That's, that's my goal there. I could maybe have dove Sivir. I could maybe have killed Sivir there. But, you know, she has flash and heal and stuff. It just gets a little bit ugly. And then, again, the price of my mistake is very high right now, right? Alright, we're going to go for Zonis next. Different things we can do here, but uh, I think that Zonius is pretty pretty good for us. Just to, you know, as a melee champion, we get in. Zonius will mean as well, like if I press Q and pop Zonius, that my Q will come off cooldown when the Zonius comes back out. So it can buy me enough time, maybe even time for my W, because I I'm, my passive still goes off while I'm in Zonius as well, right? Like I'm still spinning around, like like this Munda W, right? Or me. So, Zonius is still has value. It's a pretty good item to buy. It also help time out Kennen Zolti. If Kennen ults, I just Zonius, and that's like what th two and a half seconds of no Kennen ult. If he walks here, I can help him. 
Actually, wait, I'm Mordekaiser. I could just walk up to him and help him anyway. Could have killed him though if I'd pressed R. To be fair, I thought he. I mean, I think it's fair to assume he was dead there actually. Alright, so now we have this top in him down. It makes. It puts a lot of pressure on the top side of the map, which makes it easier for us to push on the bot side. If we had bot inhibitor down, it's actually, that's like the best inhibitor to take because uh, it means you can start in Baron, right? Because then you have pressure on the bot side of the map, which you can then use to take something on the top side. Um, but Cal Cal is kind of just top pushing. Without Baron, it becomes harder for us to siege because they can just wave clear. They do have Sivir, who's obviously very good at wave clearing. Holy fuck. This is this is probably a bad idea, honestly. Look at the red dots around me. That's that's his team. <laughs> yeah, I'm just too big, honestly. Like, Mendoza is pushing mid, so that's cool. All right, so we're three for two so far. Just trying to heal a bit off my W. Yeah, I'm taking so much damage from Siv's Ricochet, it's crazy. Five seconds until this spawns. If I die here, we lose Baron. Crumble. Can afford my Zonius now as well. I'm looking at the minimap and just looking at the position of my t of the enemy team. Like if everyone was missing, they all ran topside. That that would be a an obvious like Baron call, right? Um, but I no, they didn't do that, so I'm pretty sure no one's on Baron right here. So I can I can do a bit of a greedy recall, get a little bit of extra gold. Uh, we should look for Baron next though. We do it pretty fast with Kaylin and with me. Like my my passive. Is really I'm like we can two man it with me and Mordecai, uh, me and Mendo. So, so what we want to do firstly, if we're going for a Baron play, is we want to sweep the vision. So I'm gonna put my put the Scry's Bloom in an area where I'm not gonna have my pink ward, which is gonna be like here. Sometimes this air, like up here and here is also warded because that still sees if people are on Baron, but it doesn't get spotted by pink wards like that. So you have to be careful, sometimes that can be warded. They do that a lot in like LCS and stuff. So it's not always, you know, it's not necessarily common. Like we can pretty much assume this is not warded right now, but it's something to, to bear in mind. How do we want to play this one out? We either want to force a fight by making them face check into us or... Yeah, I should be more ready for that. Yeah, so basically like this, right? So this, the fact that we have vision around Baron right here gives us that kill. Like, straight up gives us that kill. Wait, what? Wait, double what? There's people coming out the river here, but we obviously win this fight, so... Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, I need to coordinate my team better here, because this is just like... Lazy. Well, it's just dumb. Like, this is easy. This is like free as fuck for us. Okay, this is a terrible idea. But let's do it. <laughs> that's an awful, that's an awful word. Yeah, we don't want to do this anymore. If I can just take someone here though, it will be good. Fuck, I'm missing everything. I actually might die here. I mean, I deserve to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I missed everything on him there. Holy moly. If, uh, if Mundo tanks, then this is fine. I'm pretty sure with my passive, it goes down really fast. Look at this passive. Is it, does it do percentage health damage? Wait, does it? Yeah, it does. It's crazy. Shut up. Is an infernal that the enemy team should go for here. Mm. 
try and stop them doing it, but yeah, I was gonna say it's probably gone. All right, reset group when alive. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Last time, guys, I'm gonna go for a Rabadons. We're gonna go for a death cap. Yeah, loads of damages out in here. Yeah, man, he should reset here because I mean, you get a tower, it's cool, but like we could do this as a group, and now he's gonna die. You know, like imagine if he did this, but when we had people in like bottom top to also get stuff there. You know, he actually might live though. Yeah, he's Mendo's alive. All right, cool. Good job, Mendo, mate. As I said, great play, great idea. But he needs to reset fast. Okay, good, he's going back. Thought he was gonna get lazy. Siva, stay, 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 stay. Ah, she can spell shield my, uh... wait, how does she see me? I have my sweeper on, how does she see me then? She knew I was there, she threw a Q at me from Fog of War. Alright, so we just want to push sideways in here, get mini ways up to towers, and then we can use Baron. We can also just randomly group if we really want to, and uh, just barrel down and take inhibs that are open. Problem with tower diving with Mordekaiser and your ulti is that towers stay in the death realm. So you don't really want to tower dive still. Like you're still going to have to actually tower dive if you go for someone. If we had someone on the inhibs that would be good here as well. So it's hard for Sivir to wave clear right now. Because we have Baron buff. We kind of need Caitlyn to just hit the towers really. Okay. Alright. Zed's gone in. Fuck no! He did so much damage to me. I have my W up, I have my Zonyas up. No reason for me to die there. Fuck. Okay. We didn't play that one very well, did we guys? We got my shutdown Kenum, right? Yeah, that's not good either. He does so much damage, I don't have Zonyas, he just bops us. Alright, we want. What we really want, I guess, is like Zed to be taking one of these inhibs. And I actually think maybe it's a... Mm, I thought it would be a good idea to siege with Baron, but... This guy doesn't even have Baron buff. So we completely lost Baron buff there. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to siege with Baron, because they can't really wave play against it, but... I'm slowly realizing... Or, <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a slow way for me to realize. We are weak as shit. Um... Yeah, we're weak as shit. Five, seven, three, two, five. Like we're not actually strong. Look, Sivir, Sivir has like loads of CS here as well. So, in these situations, like if we if we're of like equal strength, or like if well if everyone's as strong as me, game's over, right? But in theory, we use the Baron buff. We can walk up and hit the tower, and the enemy team can't really like free engage onto us. But when we're actually this weak, it's not that easy for. For us to do that. I think part of my problem that last play as well though is I used my ult on Kennen. Like I insta ulted him, but I got I got put in put in my ulti animation, which means that I can't use anything. So I couldn't use my W, I couldn't use my Flash, I couldn't Zonyas. And he just he just burst me down because I was kinda low. So I need to respect I need to respect that. And uh Yeah. If I if I had say like a hundred more health there. You know, I get him into the death realm, I press W, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I kill him, whatever. But I have to be wary of, of burst damage. Ooh, I think she's, she's pretty donezo there. Let's be real. Maybe she's alive. Holy shit, I just get comboed. Fuck! I'm getting CC'd now. I need to be with my team more. Kel is level 17, three items. I ate a tornado there as well. Yeah, I got a giga comboed. It's not worth it though. Like Kennen died, right? If I just if I just chill. I still do a lot of damage though, right? So like I need to But I can't just run at people anymore. Because people on the enemy team are actually like as strong as me now. Well, KL is as strong as me. That's because she's fucking Kale.
Yeah, we've got to have some pressure here. Cannon's up. Just run away. I'm going to get decap. As if my problem was I didn't have enough damage. <laughs> That's That was the problem, right? I need more damage. I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of tanky. But both times I've died without using my survivability tools. Like, my champion has good survivability. Just chill. Oh my goodness. We are bonkers. Yo, who haven't I killed yet? Sivir. If I kill Sivir, I get my last Ravenous Hunter stack. What did I say? Go B and we can Nash, please. What do they do? Don't go B and all die. You to respect the enemy team. We're not strong if I'm not with them. So they're going to be on Baron here. I obviously can't steal that Baron because that's literally 5v1. So I'm just going to try and walk bottom, maybe take this tower or something, I don't know. Alright. They have Baron recalls, so I'll get out. If we want to win this game, I need to kind of just step up and make more decisive calls, and we need to listen to my calls as well. I tell my team to go back here and they don't. They they four die and then they get banned. But I'm like I'm like pussyfooting around this like go B we can Nash like pinging twice. It's like well okay to be fair I ping a lot here. <laughs> but either way it's like I don't know. I feel like I should just be way more way more like assertive with what I'm what I'm doing. So we have fifty percent tenacity with this elixir of iron. Forty eight percent because we have thirty from that. Plus, I think this might be 25. 25. So, yeah, instead of 55, it's 48 because of the way it's calculated, but that's fine. Basically means we're pretty unstoppable. Oh, she has sash. Fuck, she has sash. Shit, I didn't check the sash. No, I'm trolling. They're so fucking strong. They do so much damage. I actually just die. I just instantly die. Something about this build as well, which is nice, but also bad at this stage of the game, is that it's really cheap. Like, Runic Echoes is a really cheap item. It's like, what, 2-4? Uh, why can't I see it here? Am I blind? I think I might be blind. Jungling. I mean, it won't let me buy it, but how, can I just see? How much? It won't tell me how much it is. Okay. 2-5. It's 2-5. Riley's is 2-6. Like, so I have a full build. But it's not actually like a really expensive build. Can I show the runes? I can, mate. Here they are, bottom left. Conqueror. Healing. Random ship. AP, AP, and armor. Alright. Do we want... If we, if we 5v5, 100%, I take cannon. I think this is the problem now. Is... Uh, or Janna, I guess. I can't ult Sivir because she has Sash. I can't ult Kale because she, she literally kills me. Um, I can maybe go for Lee Sin. But, uh... Yeah, there's not a lot of people I can go for. We can put Yeah, 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 fight this shit, fight this shit. Get that engaged. Do it, boys. Do it. Hmm. We just kind of just get a catch, don't we? I'm kind of, I, I am still down for a 5v5 though, but we probably, yeah. I mean, it's a difficult game. Like, we don't win 5v5. I can't catch anyone anymore because they're, like, really strong. I wonder what Siv is sat. What's Sash cooldown? Like, 90 seconds, right? 
my ulti is eight. Yeah, Siva had Sash there. We can try and poke, but. Try and just sit over a wall and like grab someone. Mm. I think that's a bit of a problem here. Is I don't really know what to do, but that's, I think that's because there actually isn't anything good to do. <laughs> we can just try and get picks or something, I guess, with Pike. Try and grab someone. Is an elder. Do we have any wards? We do kill this really fast, but I don't know if that's a good place still. It's half of Lee Sin's health. That is good. Dude, I do so much damage to it. Are we really gonna make this a 50 50 though? I feel like that's. Okay, we 50-50 this. Oh, I reset! No, 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 no! <gasps> Holy fuck. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. It reset as I comboed it to smite it. Like, we get it, but we lose the fight now, right? Because we have to jump into the pit. Holy fuck. Oh my god, that's so triggering. That is so triggering, as if it reset right there. That's game though, I guess. I, t I didn't I say though, like, I'm good at, like, Mordecai, is, I absolutely smashed this champion, but I still lose. Like, I, I could have I could have won this game, we could have carried this game, but I, I do think I'm a little bit cursed. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smidgen cursed here. Just a smidgen. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I could have won this game. What, the, the, the thing is, like, individually, I made, like, two mistakes in kind of, like, the mid to late game. But the real problem here is that I didn't control my team at all. And my team ran around the map and they lost me the game. If I actually, like, really control my team, then I would win this game. Like, straight up, I would 100% win this game. Like, no, no arguments. If I tell my team, like, where to go, where to group, where to push, like, we just 100% win the game. Look at this shit. Like, we have, we had nothing. I, I reckon I, you know, this is probably like, this is like lane phase damage and this is mid game damage. But yeah, big issue for more, I, I, I touched upon it, but something that's really, really important is like sashes, like mega cut you, cut you because people can sash out your ulti, which is uh, a big, a big problem for you. So you have to like, be careful of kind of two things. One, if you can't 1v1 people, Mordekaiser is like really useless, which is why if you fall behind a more jungle, any kind of mod, I guess, but especially more jungle, it you know, it's kind of done so. But secondly, if people have sashes, then yeah, you know, that you can't ult them anymore. So if you want to fight them, you have to fight them in like just have to run at them, you know. And that's kind of hard on Siva because she has her ulti, more doesn't have gap closers, and so all you have is your E and blue smite. And honestly, your E is like, I don't know, if people get caught by your E. Then they're kind of bad, honestly. Like it's not exactly a long, a long thing. Uh, I'm so sad that we lost a game like that, though. That's literally just because of the Elder Dragon smite. Like that's generally it, right? Because if Elder Dragon dies right there and we don't spend two extra seconds chasing it into the pit, then Kennen doesn't get his perfect ultimate off. Uh, we get it. Then we can actually do a fight with with Elder Dragon. I don't know whether we would win it or not, realistically speaking. But hey, it would uh, it would be better. <laughs> It would be better than that. It's unlucky, I guess. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the gameplay today. Cheek thumbs up if you liked it. You can... Wait, wait, wait. It's the wrong one. This is the one we want. Cheek thumbs up if you liked it. You can subscribe to me for more League of Legends gameplays. And uh, flick my bell. Flick my bell. Love you all. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you in our next. Mm -mm -mm.